and we're going to cheer up. Now, what's bright yellow turns you upside down twice in three seconds and has been enjoyed by millions of people. It's the corkscrew at Alton Towers theme park in Staffordshire. <laughs> well, thrill seekers everywhere will be sad to know it's the end of the road for this iconic ride. After 28 years, it's going to be dismantled next month. While well, Laura Moment Mullen is at Alton Towers now. Laura. That's right, I'm sitting comfortably here at Alton Towers and I'd like to say my feet were firmly on the ground. Earlier today I was strapped into a rather different chair, my feet were dangling and I was being thrown all over the place. But that's what you get for being an adrenaline junkie. It's the Thrill Seekers Playground and for many kids, young and old, the corkscrew was the first time they'd ever been upside down on a roller coaster. I've been coming here for years and it's, it's, it's what most people know about Alton Towers. Well, I went on it when I was nine. That was a long time ago. It's older than me, <laughs> so yeah, something that yeah, it's always been here is, is now going. I think it's really sad. During the last 28 years, the corkscrew has taken more than 43 million people for a ride. It's about 20 years since I had my first go on this, and I can definitely remember it. But now it's time for me to take my final journey. Good job I've got my cameraman Martin along for the ride. Oh, no! The ride has reached the end, really, of its natural shelf life. We want to do something dramatic in this space uh, in a couple of years. And unfortunately, when we've looked at all our plans and what we want to put here, it's meant that the corkscrew's time has come to an end. And this is what they're all waiting for, the corkscrew, said to be the biggest of its kind in the world. Back in 1980, David Icke reported it was the roller coaster of its time. 30,000 visitors gathered to see the unveiling. What do you think? It's good when you go in the corkscrew, though. Yeah, it's very good when you go upside down. Now, all these years later, it's been overtaken by rides that are much faster and furious. Time to check on our thrillometer which rides hit the spot. Oblivion. Uh, out of ten, you hate it, don't you? I'd have gone for about nine. Favourite ride is Rita because it's so fast and I give it a ten. So in a month's time, the corkscrew will be gone. But it will never be forgotten. Well, the last time I actually... Well, the last time I actually went on the corkscrew was around 16 years ago when I was at school. And I have to say, as an adult, it's a lot more scary. Well, holding my hand, literally holding my hand today, was Sylvia Bloor. Sylvia Bloor and her husband. You've come all the way from Cornwall to Walton Towers. Just tell me why. Well, we just wanted to come up for the uh, Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain's uh, day, uh, weekend really, uh, the Loopathon tomorrow and then on Sunday at Drayton Manor Park. And we thought we'd come in a little bit earlier and do another couple of days coastering while we were here. And you're something of an enthusiast. Just tell me how you got into it. About 1994, I tried to get my husband to try it and see what it was like, and he thought it was just for kids. Anyway, I managed to get him in and get him on the mine train. And he was all right with that. So we moved around the park and we went on to Nemesis. And from then on, I couldn't get him off. It was like flying without a plane, and he was quite happy to do that. So we've been coming ever since. <laughs> Dennis, is it fair to say, then, you've had a few thrills in your time? Just a few. Just a few, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> and I believe Nemesis is your favourite ride? Nemesis is my favourite ride, certainly in this park, anyway. It's absolutely ace. And going back to the corkscrew, what do you think about it being the end of the road for the corkscrew? I think it's had its day now because when it was first in, it had got the, the first looping coaster in the Alton Towers and it was a wonderful thing at the time. But of course technology has superseded everything now, so consequently it's time for it to go. And we're just hoping that we get a wooden roller coaster in its place. Alton Towers desperately needs a wooden roller coaster. It's the only big park without one. Well, they should know their avid members, me, I'd be a bit worn out. Yeah, Gosh, I'm I don't blame you. Laura, you. Rita we? sounds evil, doesn't Rita. she? Absolutely evil. Oh, no. The Have waltzes you done the for me. Through? No, no. Not Hated me. it. School trips, I managed I to it. ignore that. I get Went to the coffee shop the instead. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the coffee now, shop If you want to read more about roller coasters, and you can, then log on to our BBC website for Staffordshire, bbc.co.uk slash Staffordshire. 
don't get too dizzy.